Hi, it's Wednesday, and I've been reflecting a lot on our children and our youth, in particular how we are trying to help them grow in a life of faith. We've recently restarted, restarted a new confirmation class. Um, we have four young, wonderful young women, all of whom are already making a difference in our church and in our world, and it's just a joy to be with them. Confirmation is an interesting time. For us in the Reformed tradition, it's developed to be a time when young people claim the faith that they were given at their baptism, many of whom at infancy, so they do not remember. But that's why we as a congregation pledge to help nurture the family and that new, new Christian in a life of faith, to help them learn about Jesus and God and encourage them to grow in faith. Proverbs 22.6 says, Train a child in the right way, and when old, they will not stray. Another version, which the message says, point your kids in the right direction, and when they are old, they will not be lost. Nurturing faith is important, and parents are the first and most important faith educators. I want to encourage our parents, indeed all parents, you are amazing, and you can build your child's faith simply by having conversations at home. Deuteronomy 6, 4 to 9 is the heart of this, and verses 6 and 7 say, Keep these words that I'm commanding you today in your heart. Recite them to your children and talk about them when you are at home and when you are away, when you lie down and when you rise. Moses knew that the stories of the faith and the faith of Israel depended upon parents simply talking about it. But wait, you say, I'm not trained to talk theology. That's okay. There is no need for that. When those questions come along that you can't answer, that's why we're here and we're ready to help. And it's okay to say, I don't know. And we have resources to help you and we walk with you in this journey. But find time every day to reflect on the day. Perhaps you can ask your child where they saw God that day. Maybe or what God might want them to do about a problem they're having. Read the Bible together, worship together here at church or on live stream or wherever you gather with your faith community. Confirmation is one step in the journey. We're not preparing them to graduate. And we, like Proverbs, tra are training the next generation and like Deuteronomy, having conversations about those things that extend from the classroom and to the home. And again, it's not a graduation. It's just a step in the journey, a life of faith. A, f a journey that all of us are on, that each of us walk individually, yet connected to each other, to this community of faith here in Bowling Green, as well as the household of God around the world. And I encourage you to pray for all the families, for all these young people who are in confirmation, that they may nurture their children in faith, that these young people may find their faith challenged and grow to know God and Jesus better, and to know more of what God wills for their lives. I know blessings will abound. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.